when your father is calling you. Now therefore, and he said, Behold, now I am old. I know not the day of my death. None therefore take I pray thee thy weapons, thy quiver, and thy bow, and go out to the field and take me some venison. And make me sovereign meat such as I love and bring to me that I may eat that my soul may bless thee before I die. And Rebecca had it. Somebody say, and Rebecca had it. Come on, somebody shout and say, Rebecca had it. When Isaac spoke to Esau, his son, and Esau went to the field to hurt for venison and to bring it. And Rebekah spake unto Jacob her son, saying, Behold, I heard 
Thy father speak unto Esau, thy brother, saying, Bring me venison, and make me sovereign mate, that they may eat and bless thee before the Lord, before my death. Now, therefore, my son, <laughs> obey my voice according to that which I command thee. Go now to the flock and fetch me from hence two good kids of the goats and I'll make them sovereign mate for thy father such as he loveth. Such as he doeth what? Such as he doeth what? He loveth. Hmm. Hallelujah. Now shall bring it to thy father that he may eat and that he may bless thee before his death. Jacob said to Rebekah his mother, Behold, Esau my brother is a hairy man, and I am a smooth man. My father peradventure will fill me, and I shall seem to him as a deceiver, and I shall bring a curse upon me, and not a blessing. And his mother said unto him, Upon me be thy curse, my son, only obey my voice, and go fetch me then. And he went and fetched, and brought them to his mother. And his mother made sovereign such as his father loved. And Rebekah took goodly remnant of her eldest son Esau, which were with him, with her in the house, and put them upon Jacob, her son, her younger son. And she put the skins of the keys of the goats upon his hands, and upon the smooth of his neck. You know the story. Do you know the story? If you don't know the story, you go to the Bible. That verse. Close the Bible and open up your heart now. I say, open up your heart. Tell your neighbor, open your heart now. Can you say it loud to your neighbor, open your heart? Get out of your seat and tell three persons, open your heart now. Get out of your seat unless you're a witch or, or unless you're old. Go to three persons, tell them. Open up your heart. Open your heart. Open your heart. Open your heart. Ladies and gentlemen, the Spirit of the Lord God Jehovah, let Him speak to me that I might speak through me to his people. May he give me a word that will announce a revolution in your destinies. That I mean it's not good enough. Let him do something for all of us tonight that no man born of a woman can do. Change lives and give us hope today. Amen. Let every word that I shall speak minister grace to me first and to every one of us and those watching us on live today and hearing the sound of my voice already. Let it make us thoughtful, productive, and creative and profitable to our generations. In the name of Jesus and the saints of God shout a big amen. Sit down in the Holy Ghost if you can. <laughs> hey, hey! Someone say, hey, hey! The glory of God is in the house today. Oh my God, oh my God, oh my God. I say, I see God walking to this hall. I see His glory walking to this hall. I see his beauty in the hall. I see his cloud in this hall. I see his honor in this hall. Do you believe it? All of you that are sitting there, do you believe it? Now stand up and say, Amen. How did I get to know? How? For as many as receive him, to them he gave the what to become the sons of God. And he said, 
table but there are people that are carrying God he is no longer carried with an ox by hand but ladies and gentlemen the people that are looking at me today are the vehicle carrying God anywhere you go the glory of God goes there you don't understand now I want to wake up your senses I want to wake up your spiritual intelligence I want you to come to the knowing that you are a carrier of the presence of God you are a container of God so as you are here now the Bible said where two or three are gathered are gathered in my name there I am listen to me you are not carrying carry you are not carrying yam what you're carrying is the presence of the mighty God someone said Lord I carry God oh look at the neighbor said neighbor now me they carry God about God don't feel go anywhere unless I go when I go to supermarket it goes when I go to school it goes to school when I'm puffing God is puffing ladies and gentlemen tell your neighbor neighbor now me carry God they will come about I said not me. Well, ladies and gentlemen, you are filled with the Holy Ghost. And out of this belly, out of this belly, shall flow forth the rivers of living water. Hey, hey, listen to me today. I want you to understand. The person by your side is the person that is going to cause the rivers of life to flow towards you. I said to flow towards you. That person by your side will make it flow. And you will make it flow for that person. But your neighbor said, Neighbor, don't play with me. For I am carrying God about. <laughs> You are not carrying reproach, but you're carrying honor. Let me tell you something. You are the honorable. Tell me you are the honorable. Save me 
and my household. How will it happen? Because I don't want my household to perish. So how? How will this thing happen? How can these things be? for Imo State The last man became the first. Now go start I'm so when they hear me, what did I talk? And not be you talk and me talk. Now go start I'm so now go away say shall be richer and the poor shall be poorer. And God said he will take from the one that you have and give to the one that has much. Now God start up. I don't know why Hindu am that way, but na Hindu am. And you know go slap him. You know fit beat him. Anybody want fit beat God? The mother knows. The father heard it. And this prophecy was flying around. This prophecy was flying around. Looking anywhere where Jacob go, the prophecy will follow him. He go right, he go from nursery school, the prophecy followed him. Primary, he followed him. Secondary school, he followed him. University, he followed Jacob. 
Ladies and gentlemen, this thing kept on following Jacob. And I hear some people calling him Wayo man. But the Wayo name, where they call him, no remove the prophets. No matter what any man says, what they say cannot take away that prophecy from your head. Oh, you don't understand what I'm talking about. Your yesterday cannot stop it. Nobody can abort it because God has predestined that that will come to pass. And no which can stop it. Even you yourself cannot stop it. Someone say, Lord, I know that there is a prophecy on my head. My teacher, I don't know whether if you teach this one, teach us what you go make the thing stop. Jacob knew. And he started thinking that he would get it in a way. People call him bad names. But he was not a bad man, he was a smart man. Someone said he was smart. Hey, hey, Jacob was very smart. And he was always with his brother and discovered the weakness of his brother. Say, na And he now said, this man came out first. Even when he was coming from the womb, he held his leg. He said, you're not going anywhere. And Jacob is still holding the leg of Esau today. Esau, the nurses brought him out and Jacob kept on saying I heard that I will lead but this man came before me, how can I get it? He now thought it is by smartness, so he went and looked at his brother when he was hungry yeah. you know that is your own you like him too much the man said, yes, yes, I remember that porridge man. That one where they take a grill, may cook. They put a drum inside it, crayfish inside it. Please bring it. And they brought it. He said, but before I give it to you, he brought it and he warmed it and the aroma began to come out. He said, hey, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. Nothing goes for nothing. And he said to him, there must be an exchange me your pet right I give you my porridge yam it was a generational weakness the father had the same problem he said okay what is the what am I doing with best first pet right collect it and he thought it was a joke ladies and gentlemen they've, they've exchanged their vow thinking that what they said would not come to Opened their mouth and made a vow. Made a it matter. Hey! It matters a lot because a day will come that word of service. It may not come up that time when you break up, but I I bet you it will come into manifestation. Are you hear me, friends? And the man Jacob.
This is the night that God will turn your bitterness into sweetness if you can understand what I'm talking to. The father said, Esau, make me a venison because I don't know when I'm going to die. And the Bible said, and the mother had it. Hey, ladies and gentlemen, I position the people that love you in the place where they'll be discussing the day of sharing goodness. And the people will hear it and bring it to that blessing. The people that will be a part of the sharing will never be found wanting in your life. Somebody must expose one of them. Reveal to you so they can get to your portion. And the mother had it. And was it the mother had it? I said, son, I heard your father say, so, so, and so. And he knows say, your senior brother learned how to cook from me. You don't know how to cook. Go and make, bring this thing. Then I will do what? I will cook it myself. That is why I'm preaching a message here tonight. In the next time, it's titled, Taking the Advantage of the First Move. You don't want to clap your hands. Taking the first move. See that if you can. I heard so many years ago from Daddy Casey that I, you go, Wems, will be a miracle worker. I kept on fasting and praying. But one day came. Huh? I was coming back from somewhere. I tried to enter my compound at Bonanza Supermarket, Chima Avenue. The owner is from Ekulobia, an elder in Grace of God Mission. Those years. Elder Alfonso. So when I entered the supermarket as I was coming out, Looked at the right side, corner to where we're living. I saw people gathered that place. People gathered there. People were shouting. People were looking. If it is today, they'll bring out their phone and begin to record. People were shouting. And I came there and said, What is going on? They said, This young man is dying of epilepsy. I said, Let me run, no, because I hear said the saliva. The Holy Ghost said to me, Son, the time has come your manifestation he said take this advantage now and I will explode your ministry <laughs> ladies and gentlemen and he was biting his tongue biting his, his blood was coming out of his mouth foams everywhere something came over me immediately the Holy Ghost came over me and I didn't know when I pushed me by the side God said to me this is an opening that I've made for you now this is an opening this is an opening that will expose you that will explode your ministry and I laid on the child I began to see an Amanda that thou foul spirit of a place come out of this boy the boy for me there's something that looked like a snail and that was the end of epilepsy in his life and ladies and gentlemen the parents became my first converts my first sponsors that was helping my ministry that was giving me money taking care of me ladies and gentlemen it is time for us to be sensitive a man that is sensitive is a man that will know when god wants to turn his bitterness into sweetness but if you are not sweet not sensitive if you're not intelligent and smart enough you will miss your time and i pray that in the name of jesus You'll be sensitive to God. You'll be sensitive to your time. In the name of Jesus Christ. Turn in your bitterness. Jesus. Come here, Pastor John. Come here. Should we cry? I want a Honda. I want a Honda. 
was praying. I want a baby boy. I want a baby boy. She was praying over it, writing prayer requests on it, but the baby boy didn't come. Prophecy came, you have a new car, but they can't get it come. But one day I was in a in crusade in Lockheed. As I was preaching in Lockheed Crusade, and I stopped, I said, the Lord told me to give one of my car to uh, uh, Madubuko, the chairman of BFN in Lockheed, who was the chairman. my own car. She seized the moment. She donated her own car. Ladies and gentlemen, why she gave her own car? The money she gave me, another car began to roll down. Another car started coming. She seized the moment. She seized that moment. She did not wait. Season has come. I cannot miss this moment. I must make a take the first advantage of this move. And she gave the car. When we came back, that could say somebody gave me a Honda baby boy gray color. Am I right? And that Honda suddenly God said, This is the car she cried for. She took the car, it became her car. Another day, she began to dream. The same for a Mercedes car jeep. While it was there, a man of God came. We are there in that hall. When we were, my church was inside the garage and said, so they can make a sacrifice for Susan so to happen the person's life. She ran out again and since that same moment, she did not miss that moment. She gave out her what? Her hunter baby boy. And it was not up to two weeks. God gave her a Mercedes car ML. Seizing the moment. Seizing the moment. Ladies and gentlemen, it is time for you to be sensitive to God. When you sit in the church, some of you will know when the Holy Ghost is tapping on your shoulder. Go, 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 go. Do this, do the other one. And you'll be sitting there waiting for them. You'll be analyzing with your brain. Because you are not sensitive, you will miss God's timing. And when you miss His timing, you remain in bitterness. I was going to pray for preach in SUG meeting in Abraham State. My people were with me. I was driving a Mercedes car one door sports, red color. So as we were driving, I'm going. I saw where they were laying the foundation of a building. And it happened to be at Damina's church. I walked in there with my boys. My people. Then Tony was the person in charge of the SUG. I entered there. As I entered there, <laughs> I've been praying and crying that I will have a house in the village. I've been fasting and praying. Every day I keep, I prayed that prayer for 12 years. God, give me a fish that has gold in the mouth. And while I was praying, I was watching for a moment. I was watching the kind of hook that I can use to catch that fish. I was looking for the water where the fish is. And I was talking and praying. When I entered, the God said to me, the last money in your pocket, donate it to this church to use to buy cement. And I took the whole money and gave to Ebed Damina's church. Go and find out. Left. Then I found myself preaching in a church in Port Harcourt. And the church do not, cannot pay for my hotel accommodation. I and my boy slept in the car and the, on the chairs. In the early morning, one of my sons called me and said, Papa, I have some politicians that are coming. They are, I want them to come and, and I can't cancel. There are many. They are coming. Papa, you know, you have the personality. You have this one. That, please come and cancel them. I went to that church. It was today's church. As I entered there, one man from their place, they called Honorable Independence of Bunewe, was the blessed memory was sitting down there. And this one was the first man to be cancelled. I said, I walked in. I was looking at the man. I looked at him and said, Sir, there's a phone number that will call you any moment from now. The number ends in Susan's number. I said, When the number calls you, they will ask you a question Can Baba go for Tete or not? When they ask you, tell them that Baba is old, but his brain is sharp through this nation. The young man was having serious problem with the Bobasa job and uh, number them. And my brother, they called Jomen, they were having a problem. They said, over the dead with Bababi, 
and they mention his name and say, this is the man that is our problem. Friends, you know what happened? The man took up. It was not up to tell me the phone rang. Who was calling the same number? He said, this, I said, answer it. When he answered that call, the person asked him the same question that I told him that they were asking. And he gave the same answer. The next is someone, ah! Baba was sitting down in front of them. They were setting him up to ask him question. He said, I told you people, independence father was my mate in the military. Independence, they told me you are fighting me. They told me I will not go to that time. But, but today, I know you are my true son. You are going to your second term without any primaries. And while independence was jumping and they saw them, the woman opened the door, came in. When she came in, she said, oh, sorry, sir. She was going out. I said, come back, madam. She came. I said, start scattering this office. The girl began to throw things upside and scatter things. I was there with Pastor Victor. And one of my sons, Omaoda, she was throwing things up and down to scatter the place. I said, stop, madam. I said, the person scattering your home. I said, the way you're scattering here, that's how your house is scattered. He said, how? I said, the person scattering your home in his forefest is written, Mama Ibinabo. He said, that's my mother-in-law. Ladies and gentlemen, this man was looking tattered, was looking useless, was looking like there's no money. Little did we know, plus the pastor came to the church, that she was a billionaire. That disguised herself. So she cried. And that was how I got connected. This woman now said, Hey, that where you stay? I said, I'm in Tokyo Hotel. He said, Tokyo Hotel said yes. He said, She's coming. You know what happened? That day, she now went home and dressed with all these protocols. They came to the hotel. Friends, when the cars were rolling in, I said, Who are these people coming in with this convoy? And I was busy canceling. And then my boy came up. She came, said, no, Victor came and said, Papa, there's someone that wants to see you. Then I said, what do you mean? First confess, sir. What do you mean? Let her sit down there. She came late. She said, Papa, the man who the people came with convoy. I said, I said they should sit down there. Two hours later, my phone rang. Who was calling me the lady? I picked the phone. She said, eh, Daddy, I'm here. I said, what I do when you call? Call me and come up. She said, I wanted to come. They said, you said that. She said, I said, okay. Okay, okay, come upstairs. She came upstairs. When she came in, I couldn't recognize her again. I said, what? I saw boys. You know, wealthy boys. I looked out. I said, big cars. I said, what's going on? She said to me, Namio, very short woman. She said, let me tell you, I have suffered a lot in the hand of many pastors. If I go to this person's church, they could say, bring one trailer load of cement. So we we'll buy bus. So, and nothing they pray they happen so i decided to disguise myself and come friends that was how my million started she now said my father cannot sleep in this place i'm keeping in a gay place meridian hotel she rented out three presidential suits with me and my boys we sat down there she said papa stay here and use the telephone to be cooking your food Two days later, I was to go to Kalaba preaching for two day, uh, for a month. So. so I called her. She said, uh -huh. "Tell them now to give you a change." I went downstairs to collect the change. The, the change they found they gave me was two point two million. I called her. She said, "Use it and play around." Money started coming. Why? I seized the first move. The problem is that we are not sensitive. We are, our situations and circumstances, the stories we have heard about people has blocked our sensitivity. Has caused us not to be sensitive towards God. What they tell you about that pastor, what they tell you about that brother, that sister, that, it has made me know if you not to marry. Am I talking friends? And you are not sensitive. And that is why you lose a lot. I prophesy to you today that every force of darkness that will prohibit you from rising today it is broken in the name of Jesus a woman came to her church when she wanted to come to church she prepared to come to church and something distracted her she went to another church and when she came there she told the place eh, eh, I'm looking for the church of Ugo some of you know what I'm saying 
And she was wearing collar with pains in her neck. Built for surgery in orthopedic gospel. It was Sister Gladys, I think Gladys, that introduced her to the church. And they told her, did that church you're going? The man is a useless man. The man is that. The man is the other one. She sat down there, sat down there, something tapped on the shoulder. Stand up and get out. Stand up, stand up. She stood up, walked out. She was walking. The first person she met was an Okada person. And she asked the person, the person said, I know the man, huh? very good man. Now you keep us where we did. The carrying woman came to church. That day she went there, place. that day she came to church was the day God healed her of a spinal cord problem that was, she was built for surgery. Why? She was sensitive and did not allow herself to be disconnected. In the book of John chapter 5, are you hearing me friends? The Bible said there was a, a man there that has been there for 38 years. What was it, 38 years? She was there for 38 years. She waited for the move of the water. Water no green roof. She tried for the water to be moved. The water no move. The one day, Jesus came. The water began to move. And Jesus asked her, asked my person, would you like to be made whole? You know, there are some of you sitting down here, you enjoy your problem. You don't want to be healed. You're a slave that likes your chain. I wanted to pray for a woman. There was a witch that I could sit in somewhere. She said, don't pray for me. I said, why? Say, if you pray for me and I, I'm healed, my brothers and sisters will stop sending money to me. She likes it. Can I marry a brother? Hey, whoa, no. What are you doing? Hey, hey, whoa, no, no. She likes it than her healing. <laughs> In my inner man tonight, raise your right hand up. I speak to your destiny. That everything that has prohibited you from entering to your destiny, entering to your marriage, Enter into your wealthy place. Enter into your pleasant places. Everything that is a prohibition against you, I prohibit that now. In the name of Jesus Christ, let it be broken in Jesus' mighty name. Sit down. You've lost a lot because you are not sensitive to God. And the man was waiting for the water to be moved. He's been there that eight years in church. There was what to do. Ah, the next week they marry. Next week they become pregnant. Next week they have ten children. And if it does not work like that, they come out. They say bye right to the church. Some are here tonight to test, to find out. They came to test the microphone. And if today the thing don't happen, you don't call them out. One girl left her church and said, Since I've become your papa, I never prophesied to me. Hello. Are you hearing me, friends? I must not prophesy to you. As I'm preaching, I'm prophesying. Am I talking, friends? Must I call your name? Must I bring you out? But as the word is going out, the word made for you will just choke you. Go, go. Shh. Don't distract us. But because your confidence is not in the Lord, is in the man, nothing will happen. And the people went and they were calling upon Moses. And Moses was calling upon God. All of us were there here. Me, me, woman. I want me to turn my bitterness into sweetness too. Ah, look at you. Did you say, me, I don't do, I don't do miracle. You're lying. That's why when I'm praying for God to make you rich, I pray for myself too. God bless me too. Papi, the whole son of the blessed memory. Married for many years, no child. Party woman will come for her to pray. She will lay hands on them and lay hands on her and say, God, give us children. The 
that's why many pastors die anyhow because they presented themselves as superhuman beings that the church members do make a mistake they pass life finally hey, hey. Lift, lift up your hand like this look into this place is there anybody that doesn't have an armpit if you put your nose there you could hear the smell of your body odor every one of us our armpit is smell I'm wearing colognes, body spray. But if you put your nose, you go perceive my real body odor. Are you the young so? Is there anybody here that will die now and stay three days without smelling? All of us go smell. Governor go smell. President go smell. Joe Biden go smell if he die. Some of you enter into the room of an old man. Say, ah, this is not the smell. Don't worry, you go old one day. Then you go get what they call old man's order. If you like, let them take bleach, take mutant, wash up, wash the place, spray them, do all this in 20 minutes. The old man's smell will come out. I lived with my father, he died in my house 180 years. One of the most neatest man I've seen on earth, but he still had body order. When I hear a voice, there will be prosperity. I say, God, me first. Me first. Me first, oh, I will not be among those that preach the word, that make many rich and poor. Mm, God for Anything God will not do for me, He should not use me to do it for another man. I want to say this. Anything that God cannot do for Goems, I forbid Him from using me to do it in another man's life. Because you get test the money and Before I don't need to pretend. One son that was here. And they were praying, prophesying for people who want to get married. I raised my hand. I said, I want to pray. Some you. I said, God punish you there. When you go, you go stay with your husband. Me, I could go stay alone. I need a wife too. I must marry. As we're praying for singles, we are number one. Give me beautiful wife. I'm number one. They said that there's so few one man. I will come and saw my own sin. Me, I need a wife in my life. Because I know that they pass in the night. Offering, 
gave, returning the bag. God said, don't let him return back your poverty to you. I left the bag with Papa. Here. Papa began to preach. Five minutes to his mother started shouting. Hallelujah! Hallelujah! He was jumping, 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 jumping. He said, come here, my son, if I pray. Open your hand. Men of God stood behind me and said, from now henceforth, your hands will no longer run dry. You will touch silver. You will touch gold. Whatever you're looking for, begin to look for you. I release you international trips. As he put out on my palm, I collapsed. The pastors fell down. I was not anointing, finished preaching. When I came back, miracles started. And I made general dash me this compound. With everything furnished. It ever said it was not enough. A Raman gave me a Lexus car. It was not enough. Everyone said it's not enough. A man that started kicking a man one of five years, they dashed me another car. Now so doors began to open, began to open. Why? I blessed a man that is blessed. When I see somebody that is blessed, whether it's a man of God or not, I tap him. What do I say? I connect. And you'll be saying thank you, I'll be laughing at you. You think I did something good for you? I am helping myself, not you. Can I tell you mm. It is impossible for my children to be stranded anywhere in the world. Any they can't be stranded. My children. They can never look for food. They can't look for a house. They can't look for money. They can look for, you know why? I have trained so many people's children. They lived in my house. Even a blind man, I trained him. He's a doctorate degree holder today. With a wife. I have so seeds. I have helped many ministries. I have come to church, carried to church equipment. That's the focus now. I begin to rent out the equipment. Church, are you not the witness of that? It will be impossible for you to come into my garage and not see up to 8 to 10 cars. Do you know how many cars I've dashed out? It is impossible, can't. My children are in America. My daughter is looking for a way to pack three bags and addresses that I send it to her sister. What is her cousin? You talked with her, didn't you? She's looking for her to send it from America to her cousin. How did the money dress come? Did I show any? This one calling from California. Hey, this one come from Houston. Hey, this one come from New Jersey. Hey, they were sending dresses to my children. They will come. Somebody came all the way from Connecticut to carry my in Maryland, four hours drive, carry my daughter for her birthday. On the what? What, what date was it, German? On the top. That is what I do for other people's children. I can never be stranded. My children can never be stranded. You, you can leave the same legacy for your children. The way you treat people's children with the they will treat your children. Let me tell you. I see the killing money on somebody. Go, go. So they shall kill them one seven times seven. Are you hearing me, friend? Stand up, lady. Stand up. You see this girl? I'm saying that she can never lack. You know why? She is a blessing to so many people. Secretly, she they give them even borrow money to solve people's problem. Take care of their children for one year, and you say she will be stranded. It's not possible. If this girl becomes stranded, I will sue God. She can't be standing. Her house is for every human being. But the, the problem I have is it is more of the ugly that comes to her house. And God will stop the ugly from coming. Ladies and gentlemen.
demanded in your life. If you are the person to organize this program, anoint them with a mantle that will turn their problems into miracles, that will turn their bitterness into sweetness. May they never go anywhere and somebody will turn back at them. May their helpers never turn back at them. May they never be stranded. May unusual favor begin to follow them. Lord, I bring a heart to every hard time, to every frustration, to every difficulty in their lives. Oh God, those that need a wife, give them a wife. People like us, those that need a husband, give them a husband. Those that need children, give them children. Those that want their business to rise, give them. Those that want to be promoted, promote them. Lord, this is my cry in the name of Jesus Christ. Lord, the bitterness in Nigeria is too sweetness. By giving us a government, a president called Pitobi in the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Lord, I ask you to make me to be the president of this country. Oh God, so that our weeping will cease. So that our bitterness will be turned into sweetness. In the name that is above every other name, I cry in Jesus' beautiful name. Stand on your feet. Let your hands fall. God is very soft. All shots get ready. The atmosphere is charged for the supernatural to manifest. We will not come to you unless God tells me to come to you. We will not lay hands on you unless I'm commanded to lay hands on you. Ushers, pastors go in, workers go in. Anybody that falls into an anointing, please carry the person out here. And please don't resist the Holy Ghost. Let me call of you. Are you not taking it? Move it to the congregation. What's the job of the kids and the elders? about what you're wearing or who is standing by your side but there will be a movement of God's power to as many whose heart is open to him Father God by the reason of the anointing I ask for four angels to stand behind one person all eyes closed, don't look at me, concentrate put your hands on your head your children. Camera man, face the convention. Come to the stage. Spirit of God, look at your beautiful children that are here today. They didn't come to see a man wearing white and red. He's wearing designers. They came to meet you. They came because you invited them. They didn't just come, but they came believing that you, God, will visit them. I ask you, Almighty God, that you take away Let your power. 
power. Help, help, help. Don't resist him. Don't resist. If you resist, try Please carry them out. They must be taken. Carry them out. Carry them out. Don't struggle with the Holy Ghost. Just carry them out. Carry them out. They must be turned in number. Keep them here. Carry them. Keep them here. Keep them down. Keep them down. Two persons to one person, please. Keep them down. Keep them down. Thou power of God. Help that sister. Help. Please don't drag them unless they are drunk. Keep her down. Keep her down. Keep her down. Holy Ghost. Don't make haste to stand. There are five now. I need the sixth person. Holy Ghost. Find the sixth person. They are bringing out the sixth person. On my left hand side. On my right hand side. Thou power of God. Somebody help on the back. Thou power of God. Oh. That's the eighth person. Bring them out. Remember to Holy Ghost. Don't resist it. Please, sister. Keep her down. Let her not struggle. Down. Because she stands, she will fall again. Keep her down. Whisper to her. Let her lie down. Holy Ghost. Bring that person on the right hand side of the cold. Came down. Bring that person out. Don't leave them where they fell. Carry them out. Four persons to one person. Respect and not drop on them. Four persons to one person. Let no one person drag carry anybody here. Four persons. Don't drag them in the hand. Put your hand under their shoulder. There must be ten in number. Don't wake anybody up. Just carry them out. Please, Omar, don't do that another time. Just carry them out. Eight now, remaining two. How many are there now? Thou power of the Holy Ghost on my right hand side, on my left hand side, in front of me at the back, at the tail end, at the center. Thou power of the Holy Ghost. Carry that sister out. I saw that I'm going to carry her out. Bring her out. Please help. Oh God, this motion.
are blessed. We have overstayed because you didn't come on time. Tomorrow, I will not wait for anybody. I'll start preaching six thoughts. Miss Wenders, thank you for being on time. And the singers, thank you very much. You're doing very well. Hallelujah, somebody. I said, Hallelujah, somebody. How many of you are blessed? If you're blessed, wave your hands. Say, I am blessed. Say, I am blessed. I am lifted and established in the name of Jesus. Can I take your offering? Of a thousand naira. It's not by force. It is whosoever that we let, let him come. One thousand. If you want to be a part of please run out to the altar. Please run. Don't go. Just go. Run into your blessings. Run into your blessings. Run into your blessings. Run into your blessings. Don't walk. Run into your blessings.